Hello, uh, this is a short update uh, on a scan gauge. This is my second scan gauge and some of you have asked me or have commented that the code that you put in doesn't work and this is a 2011 Lexus ES350 and the scan gauges that I programmed is the third one from their website on the list. So the third one that's 2010 plus alternative. That's what I entered for the my Lexus. For my 2012 Sequoia, it's the 20 plus, it's the second one from the list that reads the temperature. So let me show you the details. Uh, so right there, as you can see, the current temperature is 107, and I labeled the Lexus transmission fluid. The FWT is the coolant temperature. And as you can see, my uh, the inside, the garage temperature is 72 degrees, but uh, recently I was driving the vehicle, so the ignition is on, but car is not driving. As you can see, the the gauges, the ignition is just on. So here is the so here is the the temperature of the fluid of the coolant and transmission transmission fluid. And the reason why it's shutting off because the engine is not running. So let me uh, show you what code that I put in. So more more. I'll click mode. X gauges, or actually, go go back, edit, and I have labeled this one as LTF Lexus transmission fluid as one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click edit, and I'm going to show you guys. As you can see, there is a there is no gap between the plus and minus and the next letter or the next numbers, and then you hit OK. The TXD, same thing. RXF. Okay, see there is no gap in between plus and the next digit. So this is the code that I put in and the name itself. Here, okay, save, exit, gauges. So right there, engine is not running, but it is picking up transmission fluid, uh, engine coolant temperature. So, uh, so basically, if you don't have a transmission dipstick and you have Toyota or Lexus vehicle, maybe Scion, uh, the scan gauge would have to read the code, unless you have a hybrid. Not sure about the hybrid, because uh, if the scan gauge cannot pick up the temperature then dealer's equipment more likely would not be able to pick up the code it's uh temperature either so basically check make sure you put in the right code because the second gauge was reading uh minus 40 and some of you have commented because it was reading minus 40 and the reason for why it was reading minus 40 because i accidentally instead of 2808 i entered 2808 for the third uh line and it was already negative 40. So I'm like, how could that be? And then when I checked the code, I made an error. So so as you can see, you know what I mean? It, it's not like the code itself wasn't correct. It just was an error that I made during when I entered the, the code. So this is just a basic quick additional information. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, and enjoy. Thank you.